How's it going all you most amazing top tanners? I'm gonna be your host for today. I'm Landon Dallas Singh. I know you guys already know that. If you guys like our videos here on Most Amazing Top 10, hit the like button. Let's see if we can get it to 10,000 likes. We almost did it in the last video. We almost got featured on YouTube's homepage. So let's see if we can get us there. And I've actually traveled to Japan and many other awesome places around the world. If you guys wanna see my Japan traveling vlogs, you guys can click right over here. Amazing experience, the food is amazing, and the people are just so humble and nice. All right, so we all know that every country has their own weird laws, and Japan is no exception. So let's take a look at the top 10 insane laws in Japan. Starting us off at number 10 with the dancing in nightclubs. Seems sort of ironic, doesn't it? But yes, dancing in certain nightclubs is illegal in Tokyo. The law has been around since 1948, and clubs that are less than 700 feet or don't have a dancing permit can actually face some pretty harsh fines for people dancing. And despite what you might think, clubs don't actually meet the proper criteria actually enforced this dancing law and you can easily get kicked out for dancing. Obtaining a blowfish license comes in at number nine. You need to obtain a license or a certificate before being able to handle a blowfish. And it isn't an easy task. Chefs who have undergone at least two years of training at a puffer fish restaurant are entitled to take certification tests in order to be able to cook it. They must pass extremely difficult practical and written exams. The emperor is also banned from eating it just in case he gets a poisonous bite. Being fat comes onto this list at number eight. Japan's pretty rude. <laughs> Since 2008, it is illegal to be fat in Japan under the Metabo law. The maximum waistline is 33.5 inches for men over the age of 40 and 35 5.4 inches for women, but instead of jail time, these people who exceed the limit will be given a strict diet and they must adhere to it for several months. This Metabol law aims to save the country money by preventing illnesses rather than spending money to treat them. And now at number 7 is brewing your own alcohol. Home brewing anything over 1% is illegal in Japan and the penalties involve up to 5 years in prison and or $5,000 in fines. I don't see the point of buying all of this expensive brewing equipment if you can't even make anything over 1%. I'm sure that there's a lot of people brewing their own wine and beer at home that is most likely over 1% limit, but they are keeping it, you know, on the down low. It is forbidden to damage or throw money away, and this comes into number six. Why are people throwing money away? Why does this have to be a law? If you are caught doing this, you could be fined up to $2,000, or you could spend one year in prison. I'm not sure why anyone would want to throw money away, but if you are throwing money away, you may as well just fine them for more money because, you know, they have money to waste. <laughs> Next up, number five, no public trash cans. And you know what, I noticed this. There was no garbage cans anywhere. In many other countries, it is very common to see large number of trash cans in public places. However, Japan is definitely an exception. One of the biggest reasons why Japan has a strict law is because it was a reaction to a terrorist attack by a doomsday cult back in the 1990s. People in Japan are actually used to carrying around used wrappers, receipts, and other pieces of trash until they can dispose of them at home. Because having trash cans means people can actually sneak bombs inside of them. And that is a huge concern. Insane bike regulation stares into number four. Surprisingly, Japan has a lot of strict laws for their bicycle riders. Please spend a lot of their time enforcing these traffic laws to ensure that riders are safe and considerate. So here are some things that you can get arrested for if you do these things on your bike. Riding tandem on a single seater bike, using your cell phone, holding an umbrella, wearing headphones, riding without a light at night, riding side by side, riding on the sidewalk, and drinking while cycling. I mean, uh, there's just no point, there's too many rules to remember. There's no point of just getting on a bike. I don't want to get arrested for doing something wrong. Number three, over-the-counter medication. It is illegal to bring into Japan some very common over-the-counter medications that are widely used in the United States. This includes inhalers and some allergy medications. There are no exceptions to this rule to bring in these prohibited medications into Japan, but I actually have a crazy story for you guys. Back then, when I went to Japan, I just had my back surgery, and I had some T3s, and those are illegal in Japan. And somehow I negotiated, these guys don't even speak English, a little bit. I negotiated with these police officers in Japan to allow me to bring these illegal narcotics that were prescribed to me and are okay in Canada. They allowed me to bring it in. But they said if you get caught, you are going to get arrested. So these police officers, it was a crazy story. If you guys want to watch me vlogging about this whole thing, click, click right over here. But I did something illegal in Japan. Don't arrest me. The crime is already committed. Sorry. I had no no idea about it and I really needed my, my back medication or I couldn't stay in Japan. I actually had to have flown back home so they just felt really bad for me I guess. I don't know. So naming your baby is coming at number two. Japan has a very strict 
rules and regulation when it comes to giving your baby a name. The country does not tolerate baby names that are inappropriate. For example, in 1993, two parents tried to name their child Akuma, which literally means devil, and they were prohibited from doing this. So after that, there was a massive public outcry. The courts would reject this name because they believed that it was an abuse of naming rights. And finally, number one, the age of consent is 13 years old in Japan. The age of consent is the minimum age in which a person is considered legally old enough to consent to sexual activity. Japan has the lowest age of consent out of all the developed countries in the world. Even though 13 years old sounds really young, several middle aged Eastern and African countries don't have a legal age of consent. Well, there you guys have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. <laughs>